All right, guys, this one is a must read in the event of a pandemic. So this is very fitting for our current situation and it teaches us about germs. It is called Do Not Lick This Book. Then there's an asterisk. An asterisk means that there's a little bit more to say about that topic, so there's another note. And right there it says, it's full of germs. So do not lick this book. Now, this book is interactive, and what that means is if you were sitting here next to me, you would be touching it and doing what it tells you to do. For the purposes of this read aloud, you can still do all of the things that you would do if you were here, but if it says to touch the book, you're just gonna touch your screen, okay? And I will show you the parts that you need to touch. Do not lick this book by Eden Ben Barak and Julian Frost. We have some weird green spaghetti going on there. Do not lick this book. Do you need a diaper change? What a great introduction to story time, huh? This is Min. Min is a microbe. She's small, very small. Can you see this dot? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167 microbes could fit on it, give or take a few million. Microbes live everywhere, in your intestines, in the air, in your sock, on trumpets, at the bottom of the sea, Antarctica, underground, on elephant's knees, on top of Mount Everest, inside this fish, in your breakfast, up Santa's nose, and just over here. Min lives in this book. If you could look really, really closely, you'd see her. This is a photo of paper, really, really close up. So they got paper and they put it under a microscope and this is actually what paper looks like if we zoom in really close. And look, right there we see her, there's Min, and she's saying, I'm bored. Let's take men on an adventure. See the circle on the next page? That's where men lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. Go ahead and touch it. All right, you've got her. Men is now on your finger. Away we go. Where shall we take men first? Take me to your teeth. Okay, let's go. Open your mouth and carefully touch your front teeth with your finger. So touch your teeth wherever you put them in. Now let's look really, really closely. This is a photo of a tooth. Really, really close up. Whoa, this place is weird. I'm Min. What are you guys up to? I'm Ray. We're digging cavities. Want to help? Can I get some acid over here? Yuck. Can you smell toothpaste? Hey, kid, brush your teeth less and eat more candy. What a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it's a good idea to brush them. It's time for Min's next adventure. Touch your teeth to pick Min up. Looks like you've picked up Ray as well. Where shall we go next? Would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? Shirt! All right, let's explore your shirt. Put your finger on your shirt to send Min and Ray on a new adventure. Now let's look really, really closely. Oh, that green spaghetti we saw is actually a shirt up really close. This is a photo of fabric really, really close up. I'm Min and this is Ray. We're on an adventure. Adventure! Nice to meet you. My name's Dennis. We are making this shirt smell. Gross, I found a clean patch. Dennis, there's some lovely filth down here. Can you give me a hand spreading this dirt around? What's a hand? I hope we don't get put in the wash for a few more days. What a 
a strange place shirts are when you look really, really closely. No wonder they need washing. Now it's time for Min and Ray's next adventure. Touch your shirt to pick them up. Okay, so you've got Min and Ray. Oh, what a surprise. Dennis has come along for the ride. We have time for one more trip. Where shall we go? Shall we visit a belly button, Dennis? What's a belly button? Okay, off we go. Put your finger in your belly button and wiggle it about. Now let's look really, really closely. Ugh. This is a photo of skin. Really, really close up. Hello, we are Min, Ray, and Dennis. I'm Jake. Welcome. We don't get many visitors. This shirt is weird. I'm Ray. Help yourselves to a delicious chunk of dead skin. Ah, I do enjoy a nice drink of sweat on a hot day. Did I tell you about the time soap got all the way in here? Ah, I don't like scary stories. What a strange place skin is when you look really, really closely. No wonder it gets itchy. Put your finger back in your belly button to pick up Min and her friends. That was fun. Now I'd like to go back in my book, please. Can we come? What's a book? Let's put Min and her friends back in this book. There they are on your finger. <gasps> Here's a good spot. There's plenty of room for everyone. Go ahead and touch and put them back. Oh, great. Where will you take Min tomorrow? Okay, so that was a kind of silly adventure. However, these characters were based on real germs, real microbes. So Min is an E. coli. E. coli live happily in your intestines, but they are very good at spreading, especially when you don't wash your hands too well. Ray is a streptococcus. Streptococcus bacteria live in lots of places, including your mouth, eating sugar and pooping acid that can dissolve your teeth. Dennis is a fungus. His real name is Aspergillus niger. You probably picked him up while playing outside. Jake is a cornobacterium. Cornobacteria live in lots of places, including your skin. They're big fans of dirt. Now, we can't see them, right? Only scientists can see them. Or if you have a microscope and you zoom in and look really, really closely, then you can see them. But if I just look at my hand, I don't see all of the germs. But I have to think, I've touched so many things. I've been touching this book. I touched my face and I wasn't supposed to. And every time you touch something, you are picking up germs and putting them somewhere else. And that's why it's so, so, so important to wash your hands, right? We say tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them really good now, scrub them really good now. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Make sure you wash your hands. We don't want to spread germs, and we definitely do not want to lick this book. <laughs>